Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks 2007 through 2011, you print employee paychecks by using the scheduled payroll feature. You can also print unscheduled employee paychecks as needed. You can create and or print employee paychecks by selecting employees from the menu bar, then rolling down to the pay employees command, and then selecting either scheduled payroll to create a scheduled paycheck, or selecting unscheduled payroll to create an unscheduled paycheck. You could also simply click the Pay Employees button that appears in the home page to open the Employee Center Payroll Center window. Now before you can make use of the scheduled payroll in QuickBooks, you must first create at least one payroll schedule for your employees. You can create and modify your payroll schedules by selecting Employees from the menu bar and then choosing the Add or Edit Payroll Schedules command. That will open the payroll schedule list. To create a new payroll schedule, click the Payroll Schedule button in the lower left corner and then choose the New command. In the new payroll schedule window that appears, you begin by entering a name for the payroll schedule into the What do you want to name this payroll schedule field. You can then use the Next Fields drop-down to select the frequency with which this payroll will recur. After that, use the What is the Pay Period End Date field to select the final date for the next pay period. Then use the What Date Should Appear on Paychecks for this Pay Period fields drop-down arrow to select the paycheck date for the payroll specified. If you specified a semi-monthly or monthly payroll, you may also need to answer a few more date-related questions in this screen. Now once you've filled in any necessary information, click the OK button. You can then follow the on-screen prompts to assign employees with the same pay frequency to the selected schedule. To pay the employees that are included within the payroll schedule, you select Employees from the menu bar, Roll down to Pay Employees, and then choose the Scheduled Payroll command to open the Employee Center Payroll Center window. In the right side of the window, first select the name of the payroll schedule that you want to pay from the listing shown. Then simply click the Start Scheduled Payroll button. Now next you will see a window that shows the employees that have been assigned to the selected payroll schedule. All of the employees that you want to pay should appear in this window with a check mark. You will then need to check to make sure that the data shown in the payroll information section is correct. Also review the hours worked and the amount shown for each employee. If you need to make changes to a paycheck, you can click on one of the checked names to open their paycheck where you can then edit the information as needed. Now once you've ensured that the information is correct, you can then click the Continue button to continue paying the employees. Next, review the summary information in the Review and Create Paychecks window. You can then click the Create Paychecks button to create the selected paychecks for the scheduled payroll. You can then use the Confirmation and Next Steps windows that appear to finish the payroll. You can click the Print Paychecks button to print the paychecks that you just created, or you can click the Print Pay Stubs button to print pay stubs for the checks if needed. And once you're finished, you can click the Close button. Now note that you can also create unscheduled paychecks for additional checks like bonus checks, and you can create paychecks for termination pay. To do this, go to Employees from the menu bar, roll down to Pay Employees, and then choose Unscheduled Payroll or Termination Check. If you choose Unscheduled Payroll, it will simply open the Enter Payroll Information window. Here you manually set the pay period ends and check date. Then select the account from which the funds will be withdrawn from the bank account dropdown. You then place a check mark next to the names of the employees that you want to pay. When you're ready, you can then click the Continue button to continue creating the paychecks. Then in the next screen, select whether the check should be printed or assigned a check number. 
You can then click on the name of the employee shown in the list to once again open the Preview Paycheck window, where you can review and edit the payroll information as needed. Once you're ready to create the paychecks, simply click the Create Paychecks button. You can then either click the Print Paychecks or Print Pay Stubs buttons as needed, and when you're finished, you can then click the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.